Hey there. Welcome to our podcast, our Sound Paint podcast. This is a place for everybody, musician and non-musician alike, to learn a little bit about sound and music and maybe a little bit of theory here and there. I won't go too crazy, I promise. But it is December. And I had told you last week, well, two weeks ago, that we were done with the Nerd Out November. But then last week, surprise, we had an extra nerdy video. And I may go back to that topic because everybody really is responding to it in a pretty cool way. And I have a lot more nerdy things to talk about, but not today. Well, I mean, it's like a musical nerd thing. We are going to be talking about Christmas music and we are going to put a twist on it. I was inspired by my stepson's winter band concert. They did this medley of Christmas songs, but they were all in a minor key. It had a very like nightmare before Christmas-esque darkness to it. And it was just like a cool twist on, you know, stereotypical major bright happy keys that you normally hear Christmas songs in. I wanted to play around with that and share that with you and kind of use that as a vehicle to talk about the difference between major and minor and just what that is. So, I'm gonna pick out a sound that sounds Christmassy. I don't know, I have this one, it's kind of like a synthesized, kind of a DX7 kind of sound. I kind of like it. I think I might stay with it, but we'll see. Let me try something else. has a little bit of echo, a little delay. Now the problem with having too much echo on a note is that, and I've talked about this before, but you can't really play something in time because you're waiting for the sound to finish. So you have to do something more like. And like by that time, it's difficult to understand. I'm not gonna do that. Blown speaker, Wi-Fi keys, maybe. I like it, but it's not right. It's not right for today. Again, I like it, but not Christmassy. It sounds like, uh, off the top of my head, I don't know the chords, so simply having you know what I mean though? Can you hear it? Don't get distracted. Staying on task here. Ah, this is making me think of the first Noel. I might not stay here, but I'm gonna use this as an example to talk about the difference between major and minor. So I'm in C major right now. It just sounds nice. It sounds like... It's described as happy. But if I were to make it minor, so right now I'm playing in C major, but if I change this note to this note, we get a different animal, but then I have to change a couple other notes too. Let me show you what I mean. The difficult thing, 
that I was finding when I was practicing for this is that when you put it in a minor key, it doesn't sound like the original melody anymore. Doesn't sound like just has a very different sound. So what I'm doing is instead of playing E natural everywhere I would have to hit an E natural, I'm going down a half step to E flat. And everywhere I would hit a B natural, I'm hitting a B flat. And everywhere I would hit an A natural, I would hit an, I'm now hitting an A flat. So this becomes with the E flat and it goes back up and then it goes to the A flat and the B flat. So it has a very different sound to it, but that wasn't even the one that I meant to pick. This uh, sound just kind of led me there. Okay, so here is what I was practicing. We're in the key of G major. So we're in G major, but I am putting it in A minor. So basically, every time in this key I would hit a G, I'm now gonna hit an A, but it's not gonna fall in line with the formula used for a major key. It's gonna fall in line with the formula used for a minor key. So you get the idea. That is not how it's supposed to sound. It's supposed to sound like this. Not what you're getting, not the sound you're getting because I'm playing it minor. It's so much easier to read it in the original key though. Now, this song you know to be a happy, upbeat song. It's bright, it's fun. But personally, my favorite Christmas songs are actually not bright and upbeat and fun. My favorite Christmas songs are a little dark and a little ominous. <laughs> so this appeals to me. I am going to play for you. That's not it. I'm going to play for you in pieces because I don't play it on the piano. I actually like playing this on the bass. I should have gotten my bass for this guy, but that's okay. Carol of the Bells. There's just something lovely about it. I don't know. It's fun to sing too. And then it goes on to do this. And then it goes back to. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I have one more reveal. For this one, I decided not to transpose. Well, it's a means of transportation, transposition, transposition. That's what I meant to say. This is, ding, 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 ding. those were sleigh bells. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. 
it straight up sounds like music from a horror movie when I change the key. I'm just gonna give you a little a little preview of what I'm working on here because it's it's just fun. Going back to the theory of it, I am not transposing it and putting it in a different key per se, but I am putting it, I'm just changing the notes to make them minor. So I'm still hitting that first note over the word you. That's an A, but instead of hitting A, I'm hitting an A flat. So this is in the key of C, but I'm putting it in the key of C minor. So in the key of C minor, so C major sounds like this. All pretty, like the key of C minor, you're gonna flat a few things. It's actually very similar to what we did when we were flatting the three flats before with the B flat, the E flat, and the A flat. This is just its relative. This is gonna be interesting. all I'm giving you. I might play more for you next week. I don't know. <laughs> this is a lot of math. See, what's going on is that I don't have that reassurance as I'm playing it that, yeah, you know this too. And it goes like that. Cause like I keep second guessing myself cause it just feels wrong as opposed to Carol of the Bells, which I know how that sounds, even though it is minor. It just feels right. You don't have to think about it. But this one, it's like my instinct and decades of hearing this song is all fighting against me saying, no, you're playing it wrong. It's just wrong, but it's fun. So I don't know, we'll see. I might keep going with this. Wow, this has gone on for a long time. So I won't keep you anymore. <laughs> Have a lovely rest of your weekend, Saturday, whenever it is that you're watching this, and I will see you next week. Bye.